Hi there, welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here, and this is the eighth video on sequences in series. We're nearly there, I think only one uh, or so more to go. I'm just going to do an exam style question for summing series up to n terms. Straight into it and show you exactly how they come up. So here's our example Robert starts his new job with a salary of £15,000. He's promised rises of a thousand pounds each year at the end of every year so the end of every year until he reaches his maximum salary of twenty five thousand pounds find his total earnings since appointed after eight years with the firm and 14 years with the firm now you need to realize when you read these worded problems that this is a series question this is a sum of series question. How do we know? They've given us a starting salary, the first term in the series, which is A. They've given us what the salary goes up by every year, which is D. So A is uh, 15,000 and D is equal to 1,000. They have told us that the maximum salary, so the maximum salary can never get the last term of the sequence is £25,000 and it asks for his total earnings since appointed. They don't just want his earnings after eight years, that's not what they want. They want how much he's earned from year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six, year seven and year eight added together and sum to 14 years is all his money for the 14 years. So you have to distinguish this from questions asking what's his salary in the 14th year versus what are his total earnings from the start until the 14th year. So if they asked for his, if they said what, if they asked for salary in 14th year, what they're asking for is U14. But if they're asking for his total earnings from the start until year 14, they're asking for S14, the sum up to 14, and you have to appreciate that. Right, let's start off by writing SN. Sn is equal to n over 2, 2a plus n subtract 1 multiplied by d. And we are working out S14. So S14 is going to equal 14 divided by 2. 2 a's, a is 15,000. So 2 multiplied by 15,000 plus n minus 1, which will be 13, multiplied by the common difference, which is 1,000. Let's tidy this up. S14 would therefore be 7 brackets. 2 multiplied by 15,000 is 30,000. And 13 multiplied by 1,000 is plus 13,000. So S14 is going to equal 7 multiplied by 43,000. So you could go over here and do 7 multiplied by 43, an easier calculation, which is going to be equal to 301. So therefore, 7 multiplied by 14,000 is going to equal 301,000. And the answer is 301,000 pounds. And we are done. Now they want, um, for that's part A. And for part B, they want us to do the same thing, but when n is equal to, uh, oh sorry, a, a total mistake here. I did part B, didn't I? I did part B, please forgive me, I did the sum to 14. I forgot about answering this question, the sum to 8. So let's go back and do part A, the sum to 8, which is going to be an easier calculation. That's 8 over 2, 2A, which was 30,000, I can just use my previous working, plus N minus 1 times Z, that's the same thing, that's going to be 13,000 again. So this is going to be 4 multiplied by the 43,000, so 4 multiplied by 43,000. S8. Now 4 multiplied by 43, that's quite easy. 4 multiplied by 40 is 160. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. So this is going to be equal to £172,000. S8 is £172,000. And that's a typical style exam question that hopefully made sense to you. Thanks those for watching and tune in for the last few videos on using sigma notation. <laughs> 